and DD India correspondent Akshay Dongre is joining us live to give us more inputs on the same. Hi, Akshay, a very good morning to you. Um, first of all, could you tell us about the current situation when it comes to Israel Hezbollah conflict? Well, uh, the current situation uh, uh, remains uh, quite grim, uh, Siddharth, mm -hmm. uh, despite the assurances that we have uh, we have seen in recent days, uh, be it uh, uh, the U.S. leadership or uh, you know the Secretary of State uh, Antony Blinken himself uh, yeah. when he uh, talks about the implementation mm -hmm. uh, of uh, these uh, resolutions uh, that came out after uh, the uh, uh, Lebanon-Israel war. Uh, so uh, uh, the the uh, the situation is grim, also particularly because. There are things that are being said, there are claims that are being made, but on the ground, the hostilities remain, uh, you know, at, 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 at unprecedented levels. Mm -hmm. uh, we have recently seen uh, the kind of rocket attacks uh, have, uh, that have been carried out in the northern Israeli territory, which have resulted in the deaths of seven people. Yes. And uh, I don't think so. After this, uh, Israel is going to uh, uh, back down when it comes to military action mm -hmm. against Hezbollah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, despite uh, the, the new chief, uh, you know, making all sort of statements when it comes to uh, the, the war uh, that is going to continue against Israel, as he has claimed, or uh, the uh, the end of the conflict, it seems that uh, neither of the parties are, are uh, actually willing to uh, uh, you know let go of uh, the kind of hostilities mm -hmm. there are mm -hmm. and work towards uh, establishing peace mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it, it seems uh, uh, difficult uh, that uh, in in recent days especially uh, a serious effort will be made by either sides when it comes to uh, solving this particular conflict and what we can expect now after the recent strike by Hezbollah, which has resulted in seven deaths in northern Israel yeah. Israel mm -hmm. to also step up attacks against Hezbollah uh, Hamas and 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 all, all the hostile forces it has uh, in the in the region. Okay, Akshay, um, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu warned um, that Israel has the capability to reach anywhere in Iran should the need arise. Uh, how do you assess this? Well, it's quite practical, Siddharth, because in, in the recent days, when we saw uh, the reports that came in from uh, from uh, West Asia, hmm. where Israeli jets flew uh, thousands of kilometers to uh, strike uh, the Iranian targets in Iranian territory, mm -hmm. uh, Israel does have uh, a super capability uh, to uh, project its forces anywhere in the region, especially uh, if not around the world. Uh, because uh, when you look at uh, the uh, the kind of technology that Israel has, it has has a uh, fifth generation stealth fighters, it has stealth uh, helicopters, it has a lot of stealth technology, it has, uh, you know, a state of the art uh, 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 weapon uh, uh, missile defense systems, it has state of the art uh, uh, missiles that it has already gotten uh, from the US or it has already um, um, uh, developed a manufacture on its own. Uh, but uh, the game changer aspect of uh, the firepower capabilities of Israel have been the fifth generation F 35 aircraft that it has in its arsenal, which do not show up on radar mm -hmm. so uh, it clearly shows uh, that uh, there is there is no country in the middle east right now in west asia right now that has the counter to the kind of technology uh, that uh, the the israeli government or the israeli people have uh, so yes they do have in fact uh, uh, you know uh, the the okay. uh, options right. of uh, projecting their forces anywhere in the region as per their own wish all right thank you so much akshay we leave it there